Hey guys, good morning. I am getting ready to head outside. It's a beautiful morning here in Maine and I'm getting ready to plant uh, 30 plants in my garden outside. And so I was thinking about insect repellent. So tis the season, right? Do you have an insect repellent that you use that's effective? Um, so many people are still using DEET products. Now, DEET is a chemical, guys. It was created back during the times of World War II to protect soldiers uh, against insect-borne diseases like malaria, uh, yellow fever and such. And it is highly effective, okay? But again, it's a chemical. And as a physician assistant, for those of you who don't know me, Amanda Brooks is my name. I've practiced emergency medicine for 19 years, and I'm really trying to help you bridge that gap between modern and alternative medicine. So while D is effective, it is a chemical, and there are alternatives to using this that are highly effective in repelling insects. Okay, so again, D, highly effective, but it's actually put on your skin, guys, um, and we have seen evidence of neurotoxicity, with little kids having seizures, um, with individuals experiencing skin rashes and numbness to the skin. So again, if we could find something more natural, doesn't that sound like a great idea? Um, and interestingly, we thought that DEET worked by repelling mosquitoes because of its smell. But actually in 2019, a researcher did some research and showed that actually it's the, it's the effect that the mosquitoes feel when they land on your skin. So D is more effective when applying this toxin to your skin, I caramba. Um, and uh, anyway, the, the mosquitoes, their, their feet, they feel this and it repels them. So actually she uh, painted mosquitoes feet with glue and then D wasn't effective at all with these mosquitoes. So I, I will actually post that study uh, in the description of this video so you can take a peek at it. What do I use? Guys, I'm friends with a natural herbalist here in Maine. Uh, her name is Charity Berry, uh, and she and her husband, Scott, they live deep in the woods of Maine. Okay, if you haven't been to Maine, mosquitoes are thick, they are bad. And guess what Scott loved to use as an insect repellent? DEET, okay? So this was driving Charity absolutely bonkers um, because they live in Tickville, in Insectville. Uh, mosquitoes were swarming them. And, and Scott was like, I'm not gonna stop using DEET, honey, I'm sorry, unless you create something that's as effective or more effective. So she did. She created the most amazing product. I use it. I'm getting ready to spray it on as I'm going out to, to do some planting this morning. And I wanna tell you about it. It contains lemon eucalyptus oil. So if we look at studies, this is as effective, if not more effective than DEET. Okay, so this actually repels mosquitoes. So they hate the smell of it. But guess what? I love the smell of it. I feel like I smell really good when I wear her bugger off. Um, so yeah, highly effective. Also contains citronella. Um, and citronella, interestingly, com citronella with um, thyme is actually highly effective against repelling ticks. Okay, so this is a great tick repellent as well. Um, contains tea tree oil, which bugs hate the smell of. Lavender oil, again, they hate the smell of. Geranium, uh, you know, some of you even plant geraniums in your garden to repel insects. Peppermint, okay, I diffuse this essential oil in my basement to repel ants and other bugs. So highly effective, smells absolutely wonderful. Interestingly, it contains clove. So we know that insects hate clove and citrus. So if you wanna do a fun little project for yourself or with the kids, or want like an interesting uh, little display on your outside eating table, cut uh, lemons, oranges, limes in half, and then just have the kiddos stick cloves in them and stick them on a table, uh, stick them on a plate in the middle of your table and voila, helps to repel bugs and looks cool and smells yummy. So guys, in the description of this video, I will include the link uh, to this uh, bugger off spray. Again, think about it. 
If you can use something natural that's not a chemical that effectively repels insects, why wouldn't you? Anyway, guys, hope you found this helpful. If you do, like it, subscribe to my channel so that I can provide you with more information to help you become advocates for yourself and your health. Um, have a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye.